So for targeting big trophy speckled trout, the biggest thing is having confidence. And the best way to have confidence is the fish times in which you feel most confident you'll get a bite. So as an angler, if you want to start pursuing trophy speckled trout, it really starts with a shift in mindset. And that shift in mindset is just simply leaving bites and expecting really not to get bit. Because when you, you're really targeting one specific bite, right? And that's something from a big speckled trout. And those are tough because they're solitary. So targeting big speckled trout really tests you emotionally and mentally. Right, having the confidence in your ability, not only in terms of technique, but understanding how to read the water, as well as understanding that cylinder activity. Putting all those pieces of the puzzle together to then try to capitalize on getting that one bite uh, is really something that can test a lot of anglers, especially when targeting trophy speckled trout. Knowing that you're in the right spot is really a key component. And having confidence again, in fishing that particular spot is key, right? So if you feel and understand that you're not seeing bait activity on a certain flat, that's another key indicator that maybe those fish just aren't there. So finding again the bait, maybe finding a tide source is, is key. And then once you see all those elements present itself, it's really only a matter of time before those fish that have either pulled up on those flats or maybe you've seen physically, like in the South Texas flats, roaming, before you'll actually get them into that feed window and actually uh, get them to eat. Because they don't always eat all the time. What they do is again, they eat in those really, really small windows, but you gotta optimize your time in those windows uh, to capitalize when they're actually feeding. And for that, I actually, I call it feeding the machine. Uh, once you actually figure out that time and that cylinder activity in terms of its relation to time of day, you wanna go out there uh, day in day out because what will happen is is those big fish will feed for a certain amount of days for that particular month So you want to optimize your time out there And that's why I call it feeding the machine you do what you need to do to get out there in those particular high productive areas And then keep feeding the machine keep giving those fish kind of what they're looking for and now not only will you become uh, more consistent at chasing trophy trout, but maybe having the best opportunity at catching a big fish altogether.